Zolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center, and IvyMasters.com. And today we're going to look at the 22nd question from the Digital SAT Test 1, Module 2. This is the more difficult set of math questions. Number 22 is the last question, which is supposed to be the toughest one, so strap in. Number 22 reads, triangles L, M, N, and R, S, T, angles L and R each have a measure of 60 degrees. So what do you do? Anytime there is something you can draw, just draw it. So we'll label this L, M, N, R, S, T, and L and R, 60, 60. Okay, L, N is 10, R, T is 30. So you can see if these are what I'm thinking here might be what you're thinking. Are they similar triangles? Well, we don't have enough to prove them to be similar triangles yet, but we do have two corresponding angles that are equal, two corresponding sides that are one is three times the other. So I want to keep that in mind, make a mental note of it. Question is, which additional piece of information is sufficient to prove that angle LMN is similar to RST? So MN and ST each equal seven. So this is so if I made these each seven, then that actually definitely spoils the similarity because here it looks like we've got a scale factor of three and then here it looks like we've got congruency. So definitely not that answer choice. I'm gonna erase those arrows to avoid more confusion. Okay, and then we look at the next answer choice. Um, answer choice B. MN equals 7 and ST equals 21. So MN 7, we already have that labeled as 7. ST, we're going to just change this to a 21. Well, that would still have the scale factor of 3. So you might leave that at least for now. We'll talk about that late in a second. Answer to C, measures of M and S are 70 and 60 degrees respectively. So if we made the 70 and the 60, that would definitely spoil the similarity because they'd either have to be 70-70 or 60-60, in which case they would be similar, but they are corresponding angles that are different angle measures. Corresponding, uh, corresponding angles have to have the same exact angle measure. So I'm going to erase those. And so you are gone, answer choice C. Answer is D. Measures of angles M and T are 70 and 50 degrees respectively. Now on the face of things, this might seem like, um, no, we're, we're saying two things are different, but check this out. If M is 70, and we add that 70 and 60, you know it has to be 180 degrees total. Then you get 130 plus n equals 180. So your n equals 50. So this is 50. And then if angle T is 50, and that's by the way what it means when it says respectively, m is 70, t is 50. That's 50. Not that you'd have to do the same thing because that's an edge 180. So if that's 60, 70, 50, this has got to be 60, 70, 50. But if you did 60 plus 50, plus angle S equals 180 degrees. Then you'd have 110 plus angle S equals 180 degrees. If you subtract that 110 from both sides, you get that angle S does in fact equal 70 degrees. So you might be in a position where you're like, hey, I thought that answer choice B was right. This is why you gotta check every answer choice. But you might just be more certain that answer choice D is right because you know if you've got three corresponding angles that are equal, that proves similarity. And it does. Similarity, again, is like you have a triangle, you put it on a copy machine, you make it bigger or smaller. All the angles are going to be the same. It's just it's going to be bigger or smaller. Now, why is B not the correct answer? So <clears throat> I don't expect you to remember your like geometry exactly, but I'll say this. All you would know at... Uh, the point where you're looking at answer choice B 
is you know your 60 degree angles are the same. And you know that you've got um, 10 and 30 are similar, like that scale factor is three. And although that scale factor between MN and ST is consistent, it's also by a factor of three, it does not take into account, notice angle N, the corresponding side is the opposite side, LM. Angle T, the corresponding side is the opposite side, angle T. We know nothing of that relationship. So you could have a scenario where L and, N, L and R are both 60 degrees, LN and RT has a scale factor of three, MN and ST also have a scale factor of three, but you could have that angle N off be a little more narrow than angle T or a little wider than angle T. And in which case this resulting side, LM over here and RS over here, they are not gonna have that scale factor of three. So anyway, B is wrong. If all the corresponding angles are equal, then you definitely have your answer. D is the correct answer for 22. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining us. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. We'd be happy to shoot a video on it. Click subscribe so you don't miss anything and check out our one minute video on TikTok. Have a great day. Thank you.